again for my great challenge welcome back to my channel today is day number 18 we are still in the kitchen this is the 30 bags in 30 day declutter challenge if you've watched the series from the beginning you know I'm spending four full days I think this might be five actually in the kitchen today is Wednesday and we are doing the spice cabinet and uh, one more cupboard in my case it's gonna be the tea cabinet they both here one on either side of my microwave and the tea cabinet, let me tell you, it's not like I'm ever going to stop purchasing tea. However, I've revisited that tea cabinet so many times over the years and I keep on keeping the uh, teas that I don't drink. <laughs> so they gotta go, all right? I'm, I wanna make space to have my teapot in there and my accessories and whatnot. Um, I'm making a big dent. What I'm not using, unfortunately, is gonna have to go because most of it is loose, so I'm not gonna take it to work. I'm still using the tea I brought to work actually, um, but I'm running out of Earl Grey, so I'm gonna have to purchase some more in tea bag format, but we're gonna do that and the spice cabinet. Okay, so let's get started with number 18. I wonder if there's such a thing as T Anonymous. <laughs> There's a problem here. Um, I really have to pare down. Um, it's too much. I'm gonna go through the ones that I know I drink first, um, like the ones I've been drinking lately, and those I'm definitely keeping, and I'll make a room for those right there on the side. Okay, so those I know I've been drinking lately. not too hard um, I'm keeping these two empty boxes because I need them to lift a shelf in there. Uh, and then these are the teas that I'm keeping and then all of the ones over here this is all of the stuff I'm letting go of um, a lot of them I haven't used in years and the smell is really really bad like this gunpowder I think I've had it for a good 12 years and it's just, it's lost all of its uh, flavor. This one, I've had it from probably the first time we moved to Jersey in 2004. Um, so you can see I'm not really using a lot of it. So that can go. This one smells terrible. That was a mango Ceylon. It's, it tastes, well, it tastes all right, I guess. But it just, no, oof, awful. 
Um, this is an old, old Earl Grey rose that turned really, really bad. This one is empty. Um, this one is an old Earl Grey too that smells terrible. I have so many Earl Greys, so yeah. And then those over there. This one I had purchased at the Korean store and it's actually more like a soup and I don't like it at all. And then the masala chai, I'm thinking about it now I'm actually going to keep it. I thought it had sugar in it but it's actually unsweetened. So I'm going to keep that. So now let's see how much room I made and how I'm going to reorganize everything because I want to have access to all my teas. I don't want any of them to be all the way in the back and I end up not being able to find them when I need it because I tend to reach the ones that are in the front. And then my favorite ones, which are the Nina's and the Maya Schreff, they, they tend to be the ones I reach for. So they're always going to be in the front and the ones I use the most. And then all this stuff, obviously I've had it for so many years that it just is not, you know, the shelf life is gone for them. So let me put everything back in and then let's see how I can organize that in a better, more functional way. So that's it, this is all I'm keeping, um, and to be honest, it's mostly loose tea. <laughs> I kept very little bags. Uh, so I have room now for my teapots, and that's great. And the tea bags are in the back here, that's it, in those three glass containers. And then I only kept two of those. Um, I actually had four originally, and then I decided to let go of two more. So I have this one, the Lapsen Souchong and the Earl Grey. And then these are the Kusumi tea I'm using, these I'm all using. Um, and then all the Maya Shre and the Nina's and the Fushan ones. These are the ones that I drink um, on a regular basis. I'm talking, I drink tea every day, guys. So yeah, uh, that's it, I'm done. I think this is the final time you will see me do my tea cabinet because I really finally got it to what I wanted. Uh, the only thing is I'm out of those little um, bags um, the refill so I have to purchase some of that I'm probably gonna go on Amazon and do that and this is everything I'm letting go of from the tea cabinet so I'd say that's not bad at all um, I really don't want to keep those tins these are the Tivana ones Tivana doesn't exist anymore anyway um, shame on them but it is what it is so all of this and then those over there I'm not using these I never liked them so they can go yeah so not too bad moving on to spices so today we're not just doing the tea, we're also doing the spice cabinet, right? And here's mine, which is not too bad, but what I want to see is if I have any expired items in there because uh, spices go bad, you know? They're just like uh, everything else. So um, I'm just going to pull them down here and I'm going to look at every single one of them and get rid of anything that's uh, expired. Done. All of these are expired, I'm letting them go. 
And since I'm filming everything in one day, um, this is day number one in the kitchen, day number one and day number two, so I got rid of all of this. And Scott decided that he wanted to keep this one mug because he says that when he wants a large coffee on the curing, it actually fills up up to here and that satisfies him. This ones are a little bit too small. So that's fine, he can keep it, no problem with me. So we have this I got rid of, and then this is today's video. This is all the tea and the spice I'm letting go of. So I'd say that's not too bad uh, for three days worth of declutter in the kitchen. So I have to edit today's video, which is Sunday, and then I'll probably edit tomorrow's video. Uh, later on, it's four o'clock already. Um, Scott and I need to go to the Goodwill and I need to bring all of this stuff that's on the counter because if I don't do it now, then I'm going to revisit the things that I'm letting go of. So it's got to go now. Um, I'm going to go to Goodwill. I'll be back around 5 p.m., something like that, so I'll be fine. I bid you goodbye. Thank you for watching this channel and this series. Don't forget to look down below for the playlist for all of the other uh, participants in the 30 Bags in 30 Days Declutter Challenge. Tomorrow we are in the um, kitchen still and we're going to do the pantry all of the dry goods the cans everything that's expired it's got to go um, and I'll try to make the space in the tall cabinets for the um, broom and the dustpan and things like that but we're not really I'm trying to not spend time reorganizing we're supposed to just declutter but yeah you want things to look pretty after you're done, right? Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you really liked it. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.